Today we are going to talk about Zettelkasten apps, because when it comes time for you to start your second brain, your knowledge management system, it can be a little bit overwhelming choosing between all the different apps, Obsidian, Rome Research, Bear, Tiddly, Wiki, Notion, the list goes on. So hopefully after this video, you will have a better idea of which Zettelkasten app is right for you and your needs. So let's start with Obsidian. Obsidian is in many ways optimized for knowledge workers who interact heavily with code. Its features provide any knowledge worker with a vast array of tools for organization and insight generation. When you combine Obsidian with the Zettelkasten approach to notes and idea and knowledge storage, Obsidian allows for a powerful storage and retrieval system for all of your notes, as well as a beautiful space within which to connect the dots in surprising ways between existing notes and therefore generate your own ideas and thoughts from those pre-existing points. Obsidian is free with paid extensions and all the files live directly on your computer or in your own cloud storage and therefore you never have to worry about losing access to your work or your ideas. Something that I love about Obsidian is flat files. So I found this to be the biggest advantage of Obsidian. It uses flat markdown files that are saved on your computer's file system. So when you first set up your Zettelkasten in Obsidian, you can create your vault, and this is the Obsidian equivalent of a graph, in an iCloud folder, and then instantly your notes are backed up, synced across all of your devices and accessible from your phone. Also, Obsidian has backlinks, which is a very important part of Zettelkasten. To create an interconnected network of notes, you need a method to interconnect them. And you need to be able to do this at any point in time for any note, regardless of when it was created. So through backlinks, Obsidian allows you to do just that, creating internal links between notes being a fundamental feature of the platform. It's easy as well, with automatic search features built into the software, so all you have to do is type two square brackets. And Obsidian will automatically help you find the note that you want to link to. Another great thing about Obsidian is speed. Obsidian is blazing fast. The startup time is relatively minimal and the jump time from note to note is practically instantaneous. And then there's graph view. I absolutely adore the graph view in Obsidian. It's one of its main unique selling points in my opinion. The web method of note taking exemplified by Zettelkasten is about breadth rather than depth. That is, if a deep stack of notes is cumbersome and overwhelming, you're less likely to find what you're looking for, especially if you want to encounter it organically rather than through a simple direct search. Obsidian makes it possible for you to graphically experience this process in its map view, which shows you all of your notes as little dots on this super awesome limitless canvas. It's like you're in space looking at all these stars, which are actually your ideas and your thoughts and your notes. Once you start linking notes, that's where the magic happens. Lines form on the canvas connecting the linked notes. And a simple physics engine adds an organic feel to your little constellation of notes. Over time, clusters form and you'll be able to see where your biggest notes and your biggest collections of notes are. Uh, and you'll start to see the patterns in how you think as well as how you conduct your research. And if you're a highly visual person like me, this is going to be very exciting for you. Something else that I like is note panes. There's just something really powerful about the old-fashioned method of writing down notes on index cards or post-its and then placing those index cards in front of you on your desk or my personal favorite on the floor and arranging them in different ways. Exchanging one card for another is a process that allows for deep idea generation and the formulation of interesting arguments that might otherwise have been hidden from your conscious mind and Obsidian allows you to mimic that process digitally. Now let's talk about Rome Research. Rome is a relatively new online software with a steep learning curve, but once you learn it, it is incredibly powerful. Rome Research is one of the best, if not the best, pieces of software for writers, academics, and thought leaders to 
to take notes and manage their knowledge. It has bi-directional linking. Bi-directional linking looks and feels a lot like wiki with a twist. Any page or block within Rome can link to any other page or block, much like a website or wiki. But the twist is that once a link is created, it instantly points both ways which is absolutely perfect for Zettelkasten. And then you've got graph view. In Rome, notes live nowhere and everywhere. Each note has relationships to other notes, but no note lives inside another note or notebook. All of the information is fluid in the sense that you flow between notes based on their relationships, not because they're all in the same folder or hierarchy. Every page is a tag and every tag is a page. Easy notes and page making. In most note-taking apps, you need a reason to make a page. In Rome, however, you don't. You can make new pages constantly. And since you don't need to file or do anything with them, there's nothing stopping you from making pages as placeholders to tie information together. Something that's not great is it is $15 a month and the interface is not particularly user-friendly. On the other hand, we have Bayer. And Bear is different from the first two that I've talked about uh, because it has a much cleaner interface. Bear's interface is a lot more aesthetic and user-friendly than Obsidian and Rome Research. Wiki linking and hyperlinking is fast. A key feature of Zettelkasten is the ability to link ideas and reference sources. In Bear, it's easy to link to other notes and insert hyperlinks in a visually appealing manner. But that being said, Bear does not have automatic backlinks. In general, Bear is more of a note-taking app. It wouldn't be the most powerful for Zettelkasten, but it's definitely a good choice if the other apps feel too overwhelming. Let's talk about TiddlyWiki. This one definitely wins the award for the oldest app on the list. TiddlyWiki is 18 years old. TiddlyWiki is a rich interactive tool for manipulating complex data with structure that doesn't easily fit into conventional tools like spreadsheets or word processors. TiddlyWiki is designed to fit around your brain, helping you deal with the things that won't fit. The fundamental idea is that information is more useful and reusable if we cut it up into the smallest, semantically meaningful chunks. They are known as tiddlers. And then give them titles so that they can be structured with links, tags, lists, and macros. Again, this is another one with quite a steep learning curve, and there's not that many resources on YouTube or anything. Like when you compare the amount of Notion tutorials with the amount of Tiddly Wiki tutorials, it's kind of crazy. And Tiddlers use a wiki text notation that concisely represents a wide range of text formatting and hypertext features. Tiddly Wiki aims to provide a fluid interface for working with Tiddlers, allowing them to be aggregated and composed into longer narratives. It is also open source and it is monolithic. So that's two quite unique selling points that TiddlyWiki has. Next, everybody's favorite, Notion. Zettelkasten for Notion lets you quickly enter notes and ideas, cross-reference them, tag them, create contextual views instead of arbitrary sortings, and resurface knowledge when and where you want it. Notion's backlinks and relations feature is very powerful. Remember, when using the Zettelkasten method, you want to add connections to other notes so that you can jump from idea to idea and see things in a new light. Something else that I really like about Notion is they have a lot of ready-made templates and there's no end to resources online of how to help you set up your Notion. If you go to Notion Utopia, there's, you know, Zettelkasten templates already set up for you. So you can jump right in. Last, but certainly not least, let's talk about Zettler. Uh, this one is more geared towards writers. So whether you're writing a novel or your thesis, Zettler might be perfect for you. Uh, something cool about it is that it has built-in statistics. So you can check out at a glance how many words you are writing daily. It also has some very unique features, such as a great markdown editor for non-techie people, a to set writing goals for the session. It has a Pomodoro timer. You can search all markdown documents in a project folder with a heat map showing the density of the word that you searched. You can add custom CSS to your documents. Also, it has an auto-generated table of contents and it's overall very aesthetic and user-friendly. Let me know in the comments below which Zettelkasten app you are going to use or which ones you have tried. 